released from their homes by all of this fighting and the violence in Gaza has triggered demonstrations here in the U.S. and locally, as you know, one developed today and among it was among some high school students who left class to demonstrate against the killing of innocent Palestinians. And they marched from the school for the creative and performing arts to City Hall in Cincinnati, which is where we find WLWT News 5's John London live right now. Hi, John. Mike, about three dozen students, roughly, uh, small in number, but very vocal and very passionate when they were here and representative of the concern many young people feel about what they say is the loss of innocent lives in Gaza. That's what they maintain this was all about. It's a big step, of course, to walk out of school and risk a possible suspension. And although several students said today they were scared about that, they felt it was important to take a stand about what's going on over there. So with chants and signs and speeches, they called for an immediate ceasefire and a free Palestine. Jewish leaders, such as those as the Jewish Federation of Cincinnati, have warned of an increasing anti-Semitic atmosphere, saying many families were not sending their children to school because of safety concerns. Okay. The SCPA students tell us what they did today was not anti-Semitic in their view, but supportive of innocent women and children in Palestine. These are amazing, courageous young people and that they care about their surroundings, they care about the world and they care about people and that their voices should be heard, even on such a complicated, long-standing historical issue as Pal the Palestinians and the Israelis. Um, and just to hear them speak about the Congo and other places where war are taking place where women and children are being murdered. It's Iris Rowley who knows a thing or two about the dynamics of public protest, finding it heartening that young people she saw here at City Hall today on the steps out here in the front of City Hall were learning their history and not allowing anyone to silence their voices. CPS has indicated there will be no disciplinary action against the students who walked out today as long as they returned to school. Reporting live at City Hall, John London, WWT News 5. All right.